Let's talk about how you simulate pulse width modulation using FM synthesis or phase modulation synthesis as we're going to be talking in the Yamaha type model here. Now, mathematically, it's actually possible to completely recreate it accurately as long as you have the proper parameters available in your FM engine. And I have a, a video from a number of years back showing how to do this on the SY99. Because mathematically, simply put, if you phase modulate a square wave, with a sawtooth wave whose phase is shifted 90 degrees or a quarter cycle relative to the square wave, um, as you increase the modulation index, you will narrow the pulse width of the square wave carrier. Um, again, you can check out my video. I'll put the link in uh, the description here. Today, I'm going to go over the Reface DX, which is one of the Yamaha synthesizers that has a back door to give you individual phase control of your operators. And we're going to do that using the pitch envelope. Now, the reason why we can do this on the Reface DX is because you can turn the pitch envelope generator off and on per operator. So effectively, by using the pitch EG, we can use it as a very coarse control of phase relationship between the carrier and modulators. Now, the Reface DX has two types of feedback, a negative feedback and a positive feedback that lets us to create both square waves and sawtooth waves just using the feedback. So the voice I'm going to break down here is using that to create our pulse width modulation. So let's listen to uh, what we're going, what's going on here. So here I've isolated operators 1 and 2, so you can hear in isolation what the LFO controlled pulse width sounds like. So let's turn off the uh, LFO to pitch. Now, as I mentioned, the index of your modulator modulating your carrier creates the width of the pulse of the carrier square wave. And so what we're using here is um, LFO amplitude modulation of our modulator. So now I'm going to turn that off. So now you can hear that's just a static pulse. So now we're going to go to controlling the level of our modulator. Okay, so that output level or modulation index is what controls the width of the pulse. So. We're going to take it down and put it back up, and you're going to hear the pulse going back to square wave and then back up to the narrow pulse. So that's with no modulation, it's square wave. We're going to bring it back in, and you're going to hear it get narrow.
So now, since we have an envelope and we have an LFO, we can do classic analog style pulse width modulation sounds. If I use an envelope, I can use EG controlled pulse width mod. If I use the LFO, I can have LFO mod. And then of course, you can mix them and match them to um, use both. Another way to do this is to use our other two operators to create a different type of phase movement in our harmonics. And that is going to be using what we call the fixed frequency carrier. So um, let me show you what that sounds like. Instead of having a normal ratio relationship of uh, frequency with our carrier, we're using a fixed frequency set very, very low. In this case, on the Reface DX, um, the lowest it goes is 1.0 hertz, but we're going to actually use about 1.7 hertz. So there's no LFO modulation on that at all. That's just the beating that occurs between the harmonics of our modulator wave when it phase modulates a fixed frequency carrier, which essentially, um, it's not a chorus, it's not a phaser, it's sort of a weird FM thing where you have all your harmonics beating, beating against each other at the frequency of the carrier rate. It has to do with through zero modulations and things like that. So I've got the fixed frequency of our uh, carrier operator at uh, 1.95. The lowest it goes in the reface is one hertz. Um, you can do another trick to get a little slower, but unlike the SY series or the montage, you can't do true zero or near zero. Um, but the nice thing is it gives us um, a different type of harmonic motion that when blended with the harmonic motion from the other technique gives us complex interactions that makes the sound much thicker and very, quote, un FM and much more analog. So let's turn everything back on. <laughs> your reface DX doing pulse width modulation strings. Uh, by the way, there's no effects on that at all. That's straight out of the reface. <laughs> 